Afternoon everybody, morning everyone, good evening to you all. Hope you are, hope you're staying safe, hope you're having a lovely day and all that, a little bit of a jiggery about it around. Um, what are we doing today? We are obviously down at the hives. Everyone seems to be alive, everyone seems to be working well. And I think as I said on a previous video, right now I'm not going to be doing any work with these girls. What I am going to be doing is concentrating on, well these girls are being left alone for another week pretty much. But what I am going to do is I'm going to concentrate a little bit on this hive here. Now this is the bee house. Now the bee house I've had it going for quite some time now and I think it's about time I give a bit of an updated review on it about how we're feeling with it, how we're working with it and how we're getting on with it so far. So I'm gonna pause you there. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the roof off because that's a pain in the backside to do one-handed and I'm gonna show you inside, show you what's going on and give you some opinions about it. So be back in just a second. So this is the start of the bee house, and as you can see, no work whatsoever done with any of the supers. I'm not too keen on these supers. They say they take one, two, three, four, five frames, but I'm not convinced. I want to try and get another one in there on each of them. I said these, the, the spacing is far too far apart, I think, in these ones, the way they were, and you can't really keep them in a straight place. I have shuffled these about a little bit, but that's that. So supers, first off, I think it needs at least one more frame in there on each of them. Um, but time will tell. I'll take off them. Absolutely no work whatsoever done with them, I don't feel. Well, actually, might have a little bit of weight to them, not much. So we'll move on to the actual hive itself. Now this is the queen excluder. Now this is my one of my first real, real don't likes about this hive. The fact the queen excluder is split in half. I can't stand that. I don't know the reason why. I'm sure there's a reason why, whether or not I'm doing something wrong. I've, even though I've read the instructions and it said to do it like this, I'm just not a fan. So we're into the actual body hive itself. And this hive is Eve. So this is the hive that came through the newt box. And as far as I can tell, they seem to be doing well. They're growing, they're looking lovely, they're absolutely fine. One, two, three, four, five, six frames across. They're not really growing that quick, if I'm honest, unless I've had a bit of a swarm. Um, but then that might just be the reason why they're not touching the super because they have still got a lot of space in here as well. Uh, I'll whip out a couple of frames and see if I can find you something to look at, so bear with me. Okay, so the short answer to what I just said there, but having something to show you, the answer is no, really. Uh, <laughs> so basically what we've got is we've got a hive at the moment which has potentially swarmed off on me because I have no eggs, no sign of any queen or anything like that. Uh, but I do have a hatched queen cell and a number which may have been taken out. So, by the looks of things, they're going through a, uh, a change of queen at the moment. So these guys are going to be left alone after this as well. So this week, leave them alone, go from there, really. So I'm going to plonk them all back together and I'll do a little piece to camera just to give you a, a rundown of what my feelings are about this hive so far. So give me two minutes, I'll be back. All right, so I brought you down this end just to get away from the bees, even though some have followed me down and it is a jungle down here. Oh my God, this is gonna take me hours to sort out. Um, so basically what we've got is the bee house. Now, well, should I start with positives or negatives with the bee house? I'm gonna start with positives. It's a good working height. I think that's it. I honestly think that's it. Um, would I buy another one? Not a chance. Um, be a little bit more inputting than that. So the bee house cost me 500 pounds. So first negative is it's expensive. Don't get me wrong, it's two hives, it's lovely. It looks nice. So if you were to put that in a garden by itself, it would look great. Just if you were interested in just having one hive at the bottom of your garden looking pretty, fine. However, if you're in a position like myself where you have expanded a little bit, I'm not gonna go and buy any more of those. Far too expensive. <laughs> Uh, other problems with them, first problem I'm going to touch base with is going to be the queen excluders. Now I'm sure there is a perfectly legitimate reason as to why they put a queen excluder in there and split it in half. I'd just be damned if I know what it is. Um, I just don't, I don't see how difficult it would be to just make one queen excluder or two excluders for one hive. I, I, I don't understand it. So I don't like the queen excluders. I don't like the supers. Again, this is more of a practical thing for someone that's got more beehives, but I don't like this five frame bee um, 
supers, even though I think they're going to take six, maybe even seven given the spacing in there. Um, I don't think the amount of frames that they give you to go in there is correct. I think there might need to be more frames in there. Um, so I don't like the supers. I don't like the fact they're only five frame ones anyway because it's going to take you longer to extract them. Um, I'm not a keen fan of... Well, one thing, I'll tell you what, one thing I'm massive, I really am not a fan of is the way that it almost tries to get you to spend money. Now, I'll explain what I mean. Is on my hive at the moment, I've got my body in my hive. I've then got two supers on one. And then I've got two supers on the other hive. Now the other hive, the other part of the bee house doesn't have anything in, but I have to put two there in order to keep the roof up. Now, if my current hive in there, she grows ridiculously and I need to put two more supers on her, but not in a position to extract yet, I would now have to buy two super, or put the two supers I currently have on top of that hive. And I'd then have to buy another four supers to keep the roof up. <sighs> not a fan of that, not a fan of that at all. But um, I'll show you what I mean. I said, I don't know if you can see. Is you've got these two supers which are currently with frames in. These two supers which are over this part of the hive which has nothing in. So these are just used to keep this up. I put these two on top of these two. I lift the roof up. I've now got this one which I need to buy another four supers to put some on. Not a fan of that. So, cost not a fan of. Supers not a fan of trying to get you to buy more bits for them, I'm not a fan of. Overall, am I a fan of the bee house? Not really. Would I recommend anyone to buy one? If you are somebody that wants one bee house or beehive in your garden to look pretty, yeah, get one. Just bear in mind they're expensive and would it be nicer to buy a WBC hive? If you want one or two hives, buy a couple of WBC hives. They look prettier, they look nicer, they look great at the bottom of any garden. So, who would I recommend these to? The only people I could even consider recommending these to are for people that want to do beekeeping that haven't got the strength to lift up the supers. And even then, if you haven't got the strength to lift up a super, when you do extraction, just take a soup, take one frame out at a time until you can lift the whole thing. Take a frame out, shake the bees off, and lift the whole thing off at, the, at once. So, I don't recommend it, uh, if I'm brutally honest. Now, I know there's going to be some people which probably like the bee house, which don't like this video. And I know there's potentially some people which have been looking at the bee house and then come across this video and probably don't like it either because, you know, I might be doing something wrong. It's not suitable for my setup and things like that. Because that's, that's obviously what you've got to bear in mind as well. This is my setup. It doesn't work in my setup. Would I buy that in a position if I was, like I said, in a position where I just wanted one or two hives in the bottom of my garden, would I buy it then? No, I wouldn't. I'd buy a couple of WBC hives because they look nicer. So this is my honest opinion. It's something I wanted to try. It's something I wanted to use. When, if Eve, for example, dies, the hive that's in there at the moment, if she dies, for example, I will put another one in there just because I've already got it. If I could, would I potentially sell it? Maybe I could potentially sell it but I want to give it a fair try first. We've only had the bees in there for a few months. I haven't overwintered in there yet, so it's interesting to see how it gets to at that point. But at this point in time, if I was to say, if I was thinking about buying a bee house, I wouldn't. <laughs> if that's, that makes sense. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's my current honest opinion about the bee house. And I'm like I said, I'm not here to make friends with a company. I'm not here to try and get discounts from a company. I'm here to give you guys a a, an honest opinion on a hive, which I know is quite popular in Europe. Again, like I said,